What is going on everybody and welcome to the recipe of the protein cupcakes that you would have saw on the last videos which is linked up there. So I've had a few requests um, basically on how to make them and the ingredients I put in them so let's get to it, let's show you what goes in it and the reasons behind it. <laughs> which is pretty straightforward. You've got two scoops of whey protein. Just to let you know, all the ingredients will be linked in the description. So two scoops of chocolate whey protein. Um, obviously this helps um, with the flavor as well. Um, I'd recommend uh, chocolate whey, um, any brand, but I do say the quality of the brand makes a better cupcake or whatever you turn it into it does definitely help then we have this is oat flour so 130 grams oat flour literally all I did was get rolled oats Quaker oats blend them up and that's what you get oat flour so lovely then we've got four tablespoons of cocoa powder we have 10 grams of splendor not sugar splendor 10 grams we're going to be using a pinch of baking powder. This gunk is um, actually blended up 100 grams of blueberries. So just get the whole blueberries, blend them up, 100 grams, turn it into that. Two whole eggs, and now the piece de resistance, which everyone freaks out about, is literally baby food. So these are apple and blueberry flavor two jars of these. These actually help. The reasons why, as you know, most homemade ones are pretty dry, bland, tastes like cardboard or cardboard tastes better. They actually keep it moist. You've just got to trust me on this and try it. The ingredients are very simple, it's very cheap to do, um, and I'm sure I had to do it, but they do stay moist and that's the key ingredient. So put the oven on, Set it to 200 degrees, uh, whatever that is in Fahrenheit, 340, something like that in Fahrenheit. Um, you're only going to be cooking it for eight minutes, so this is very simple to do. It's currently half ten at night, so I'm doing these, and these are going to smell the kitchen out lovely first thing in the morning. So let's get to it. So what we want to do is do the dry mix first, and then the wet mix. So in here, we're going to put the oat flour, chuck that in. Whey protein, chuck that in. Cocoa powder, four tablespoons, table, not teaspoons, table. 10 grams stevia. Then we're gonna be doing a pinch of baking powder, back end of a spoon. These don't rise that much, they rise at tiny bit they're not going to be like proper cakes where they rise shit loads or anything like that so however you fill the cupcake or whatever you put baking tray you put them in anything like that the tin they raise probably a couple of mils higher than what you lay them in at you'll, you'll see anyway so now we've got the dry mix in there's all the dry mix just want to mix that together I made a bit of a well in the center. Now, 100 grams of your berries. Make sure you get them all in. Two whole eggs. Crack it on the Now the bit that everybody freaks out as, yep, baby food. Now you can either use a spoon to mix this round, um, just to get it started, 
Firstly, I recommend using these, um, or finish off with these, but definitely use these. So, there we have it. It's kind of consistency you want, and um, mm. nice. So that's two scoops, as you can probably see they're about half full, probably won't, um, excuse me, getting everywhere, probably won't raise, rise any higher than that, so what we got there, nine net, um, that's how much is left, so what I'll do, I'll just go around and top them all up. So, eight minutes is done, that is what they look like coming out. As you can see, they all pop. Um, so the best way to check is a cocktail stick. Unfortunately, I don't have a cocktail stick. So what we do? Piss it down. So pretty clean. So that is it. Let's turn this oven off. There we are. That does happen. Don't worry about that. They're like homemade cupcakes. I mean, can you see? And just zoom in. Look at the insides of that. Oh, that's beautiful. Look how fluffy that is. That is pure awesomeness. So, there we are. Um, size wise, it's not too bad. So, what I'd recommend is obviously let them cool. Do your toppings, whatever you want. I mix half of it with Nutella, just spread it teaspoon on it or peanut butter um, just adds a bit of flavour but there we are so I will leave the macros as well most important thing I left you the ingredients actually I'll put the macros uh, put there that is if you split it into I believe 10 um, obviously we've got nine but if you split it into any portion if you've got 10 portions of it that's what the macros are right by there so very nice very healthy uh, quick little snack um, to have prior to the gym when you come home from work instead of stuffing yourself because you can't wait for dinner these are perfect the wife loves it obviously she never made them I did I just posted it on the internet to say she did anyway <laughs> so let me know what you think don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and let me know if uh, you found it interesting and if you want any other tips or tricks or anything else or anything you want me to try. See you on the next one.